Alright, today we are going to be doing the Phantom Muspa, or however you pronounce that. Uh, so this is a range-only guide. I know you can bring a mage switch, uh, but if you are brain-dead like myself, just bringing ranged is going to be a lot easier for learning, and you can do fast kills if you've got a Twisted Bow or an F Bow. Uh, otherwise, I would recommend at least an Armadil Crossbow for your main weapon. I'm bringing the Dragon Crossbow just for a particular phase. Uh, otherwise, you would want uh, Ruby Enchanted Dragon Bolts and Diamond Enchanted Bolts as well if you're just using a crossbow. And bring like a Twisted Buckler or something too if you're doing just a crossbow. You can do this with uh, Full Crystal and an F Bow very well. Twisted Bow obviously is going to be super fast. I wouldn't recommend this if you're trying with just like a blowpipe or like less than like 90 range. Alright, so you are going to want to be on the Archaeus spellbook with uh, runes for Resurrecting a Greater Ghost and Book of the Dead. Otherwise bring just a couple pea pots if it's your, just trying to get one kill, mantas, stamina pots, uh, and that's about it. So to get there you can either take a portal from your house or just use an icy basalt to go right to Weiss. Uh, sorry, I just got uh, 99 construction and totally tore apart my house so it looks like garbage in here. Uh, so we're just going to go to the Weiss teleport. Uh, this fight is, uh, there's a lot of damage that you can avoid, so eventually you'll find yourself needing less and less food, but to start with you're probably going to be doing things wrong, so you're going to uh, probably need more food to start with. This is a usually about 3 kill trip uh, inventory for me right now with this inventory. I'm, I'm only about 24 kills in, so I'm still getting the hang of this myself, but there's a pretty easy way to do this. Uh, so when you when you get in here, first thing you're going to do is pot up. You can take a drink of stamina right away too. Put on protect missiles, rigor, and cast your resurrect ghost. Leave auto retaliate on for this one. Uh, sometimes when he changes phases, it will stop you from attacking, and that way, if you forget to click him again, it'll just keep attacking. So when you first get in here, he's going to either start in melee form or ranged form. Uh, protecting missiles to start with is recommended, because then if it's melee, you've got a little bit of time to switch to protect melee. So let's just get started. I'll just explain it as we go here. So we're going to pot up, put on our protect. It's a melee phase, so we're going to switch to melee. So the melee phase... Uh, all you really do, it's kind of like an easier Commander Ziliana, you just run around in kind of an octagon, and you can see how he hit a zero on me there. When he's when he's moving, and you're also moving, he's always going to hit a zero as long as you move about three or four, I think uh, five spaces uh, technically if you're just standing there. But if you're running away, just a few tiles uh, between hits is uh, going to prevent you from taking any damage. Oh, let's see if I didn't get my pot there. So we're just going to do this until he changes to a range phase. When he changes phases, he does do a little attack underneath you. So as soon as he... There it is, that little white spot on the ground. So you want to be moving when he changes phases. So for this one, we're going to keep Protect Missiles on. And then he does a mage attack too that's very important to protect against. Uh, he'll It makes a sound. I'm playing with sound on. Uh, when he makes the sound and leans back, then you need to switch to your ranged phase. So he just made the screen dark, so that means he did one of his special attacks. This one has these little spikes on the ground. Oops. Uh, little spikes on the ground that chase you. Uh, they do pretty pretty hard damage, so um, you just kind of run away from them and eventually they'll turn into, uh, into solid spikes in the ground. Uh, kind of messes you up a little bit, so try to just keep an eye on where they are so that uh, you don't accidentally back yourself into a corner and have to choose between getting hit by him or the spikes. Alright, he's in ranged phase again, so we're back to this. And we'll just keep our mouse over Protect Magic in case he, uh, oh, he's doing a special attack. So for this one, he teleports around, you just dodge the little clouds on the ground, kind of like the uh, TOA boss. Um, and I marked a tile on the ground. It's not the right tile. Apparently there's one that you can stand on that prevents you from getting hit by any of them, any of them but I haven't been able to pick the exact right one here. So, all right, so we're getting closer to the, uh, it's called the prayer phase. Uh, which is when we're going to do our uh, dragon crossbow switch. But for now, we'll just keep running around. Keep your minion up, because that little chip damage that he does is super handy. Another good thing to have sound on for is because when, he, when your minion despawns, it makes like a little splash sound, so it's kind of easy to keep track of that way. Alright, so we're getting closer here. Just a few more good hits, and he'll be into the prayer phase. So you've got kind of an annoying little spike layout here, but that's okay. And there he goes, into the range phase. 
This should be the last one before he pops into the middle. He'll sw he'll jump into the middle and do a big AOE attack, and you just need to be standing behind some spikes when he does that. There he goes. So he's going to do this big attack. And when he's done, he goes to this phase. So now we're going to put our... These are, what are they? They are Sapphire Dragon Bolts Enchanted. They Their spec uh, hits like a ton of prayer. It does a ton of prayer damage. Um, so you need basically two specs or, uh, you know, one spec and a lot of chip damage. This is kind of an annoying phase. Uh, he does start attacking faster in this phase, so you need to switch from... Uh, uh, protect mage back to protect range really fast. So there's my spec. You can know when that's happening because it sounds like you've got uh, tinnitus in your ear. All right, this is the final phase. Uh, again, switch real fast into range, and that's it. On that last phase, he just keeps filling up the whole uh, area with those spikes, and eventually the whole area will be gone but uh yeah that's pretty much it it's a, a very profitable bo boss especially once you get the hang of it and um i'll just keep getting better and do a, a guide with a, ma a mage switch next time all right